screen. And oh, uh, it did the wrong screen. Oh, I know why. I'm this is me. Wrong screen. One second, John. Let me bring you in. All right, let's do that again. And your camera's all messed up again. <laughs> I didn't change anything. Did. I didn't touch it's anything. Right. We're live though, anyway, so it's all good. And nobody's watching yet, so we're we're totally fine. No, I think it's your internet. As your bandwidth kicks in and kicks up and kicks out, I think that it causes yep. it to do. It just rescales. And then OBS is like, hey, it's a new size. And so it resizes the window, which is really fun. Yeah, so just wait until all three kids are home from school and I'll try to get on YouTube. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'm going to run the topic command to go and update this. Um, and we're going to say working on Comet layout. Or just okay. working on Comet. Hey, you readjusted again. Working on Comet. <laughs> and I'm doing your. I'm gonna tag you in that. What's your Twitter? I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, John, just John Lipsky, just J O N L I P S K Y. Right. So working on comment with John Lipsky. It is now tweeting, auto tweeting that. It's gonna update a screenshot, and let's hope your camera keeps up. Did you just disconnect? John, are you still there? John, did I lose you, John? I think I lost John. This is going to be fun. John lives in the middle of nowhere with horrible internet. And so we're going to try doing him as a guest star for the first time ever and hope it works. But it's not looking very well so far. Let's give him a second, see if he pops back in. And welcome, Lucy. All right. Um, sorry, I'm trying to log into my Twitch stuff on here so I can actually reply inside of my... I'm doing this on Windows today, too, which is fun. Hey, he's gone. Let's call him back. See if he comes back. Getting the Skype music. I don't know if you guys hear it. That is very loud. Let me mute that for a second. This is going to be a, a fun one with John. Hey, I'm back. Back. You're back. All right. All right. And your camera went nuts again. Go over the whole screen this time. That's awesome. Just a big giant Skype logo. All right. You're back. There you go. I'm back. You got kicked out of our live share sessions. So you can. <laughs> your camera is driving me nuts. There has to be a way to tell this thing to not auto size. Maybe next time we're going to have to try a different, you know, teams or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I have no idea how to tell this not to resize. All right, that's fine. You're on the screen. You're here. We have Lucy joined us in chat. Or not Lucy, sorry, Luce. I am so sorry, Luce. Did not mean to call you the wrong name. And I'm trying to log <laughs> into. Why is that not working? All right. So we are going to work on comment today. I'm just trying to log into Twitch on my Windows machine because I'm doing this from Windows, which I've never logged in there. And hey, I'm in the chat room again. I can say hey. Woo. All right. All right. So we're in. We've got apps going. We've got screen sharing going. Your camera's going is giant, but let's hope it doesn't keep messing with us. <laughs> I'm Fathead John. Mike, check. Can you hear us okay? <laughs> Luce, I believe you're the only one watching, so we want to just make sure that the audio is working okay. I need to try not to keep looking at John on that side, because John's <laughs> here, and I'm like, camera's here. Yeah, you're, you're over here too. Bad to camera placement. Very bad camera placement on my part. But my coding screen's in front of me, so when we're working there, I want to actually look and see that. But, all right, this is exciting. Did you rejoin the live share, John? Uh, I did rejoin the live share. I'm okay. back in. Okay, perfect. And also, uh, I wonder if we do that at a chat command. But sorry, other people joined. They wanted. If you guys want to join in, we can try this and see if our internet will hold up. There is a live share link which should join to the same repo that we're in. 
if it works. Which one did you send? I sent Eek. the weather Comment one. Comment or I the... I sent both. I sent the weather one. We'll start with that one. Yep. All right. So we're going to play with this weather app. And let's see how it's working. See, I had it up. Did I not have it debugging still? All right. Starting a debug session. Uh, Where should we start? Where do you want to start looking? Well, you know the weather app, so I think we... We need to find something that's an actual problem. Let's go figure out how to fix um, it. One thing that would be nice to do once it's up is kind of make it to where, and let me bring up the old one, because Montemagno, this is a, co a copy of James Montemagno's app. Um, it was, what do you call it? GitHub. Not, I haven't, I don't use my Windows machine too much. I can't spell his name. There we go. Mots. <laughs> I know. I call him Mots. No, I didn't want to go there. Let's go to his GitHub. And he had a weather app, which has been used a lot lately. And it'd be nice to jump in and play with that, but in comments, repositories, add weather. What did he call it? My weather? No, at Pretty Weather. Um, no, my, my weather is the one that, that you know, Alex yeah, and I did. this is the Pretty Weather one. This is it. All right. So you can see what it looks like. It's pretty cool. And if my debugging will start, let me try that again. I don't see your um, your simulator, oh, by the way. I need to switch to my screen. We're, I'm looking all on my windows, and I have not shared my video. Sorry, guys. Let's go to my screen. My Windows machine. Go. Thanks. And Luce, can you hear us all right? Does it sound fine? Audio's good between both of us? All right. So I found Mots' repo, which is at Pretty Weather. Yep. And there's his. There's ours. That's a good start. It's a good start. I thought I used the same. Oh, I did use the same gradients. Uh, my service just generates random nonsense every 10 seconds, 5 seconds, I don't remember what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so the first thing I, I noticed when you when I went into the code is um, you're actually using a Z-Stack. Did you actually implement part I of Z-Stack? I did. So Z-Stack, I just did a very basic implementation of Z-Stack. That's how I did the background. <laughs> so I know how it's to do a gradient background. Uh, yep. So all I did was it makes it to where both controls just go to the full size. That's all it does. Yep. So it's very basic, and that's in master. Stack. Yep. I, yeah, and that's in dev too. Yep, I see it here. Yep. Or, sorry, I keep saying dev is master to me. That's our master. <laughs> like, that's our master. <laughs> so when I say that, that's typically what I mean. So yes, it's in dev branch. Um, all right. So we haven't finished the bottom part. And I didn't even know where to start on those. So maybe we start with that. Let's, and I don't know if the hot reload's going to work over a Mac Windows. I haven't tried that. So well. this will be new. Let's try going into this. That'll be cool. So weather main page. Yeah, so the UI code's very, very simple. I just did the vertical stack, or the Z stack, with a gradient yep. view. And I gave it, I created a gradient view. This is a view that I created inside of um, Comet. It yep. is using Skia. So all it has is a start color and an end color. And then we do a Skia draw on it. Hey, MJ Freelancing, thanks for following. So it does just have just a very basic color from that color. Yeah, paint from that color to that color and a gradient. And that's how that thing works. Um, I'm actually curious. Did anyone else join into the live share session? That would. Um... Live share would. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> all right. So on top of that, that's all it was for that gradient view, and then it has the text, image, and another text with some font sizes. Now, if we look at Mots's though, this has quite a bit more. I think those are just images. We don't have to worry about that with like the stars and whatnot. But he then does the more data, and then also has like the pressure, UV index, wind speed, humidity, and is, is that a carousel view down there, or is that a collection view going horizontal? What did he use? I don't know what he used. Let's look at the code. 
we did main page. All right, so a grid, a grid, a label, a collection view. He did a collection view. So we could do that as a scroll view. It doesn't necessarily have to be a collection view because it's set data items. Yeah, it's not going to be dynamic. It's not dynamic, so we could do a scroll view. And I'm, 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 I'm almost guaranteeing scroll view is not going to work, so we're going to actually figure that out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. That's what I want to hear. Um, I would almost say maybe as a first start, what we do is put a H stack down there. Okay. Also, and, since and get it. if you want to move the screens around, since you're not, we're not sharing your screen, you can put me in front of you so you're looking forward. Yeah. However you want. Yeah. So I wonder if we, if we first start with putting an H stack okay. in there and then get that right and then put the H stack inside of a scroll view. Right here. Now I want to see if this yeah. is going to reload. I don't know. No, it did not trigger a reload. I've seen it work sometimes. Do I see all the connection? I'm just trying to see. Connected, that's the right IP address. Why oh, it's not working. All right, so we're going to have to debug this the old school way. Oh, well. Do text. I just want to verify it's not. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's sad. Maybe I'll switch to my Mac. I could do that pretty quickly. No, we can't do live share then. We can, VS Code. We can do, yeah, we can do live share that way. So, Luce, we're doing this in Comet. And so, with Comet, we don't have a refresh scroll view. <laughs> we don't have a, quite a few controls we need. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's kind of the fun part, and that's why we are where we are. Oh, your camera resized again, and you are... So, we take forward request. I'm, in, yes, I'm mini me. Yes, Unlock that. So funny. <laughs> Let me get you to a normal size again. Hey, look, you're back. Yeah, it's quality-based because it, the quality decreased. So whenever the quality decreases, you're going to shrink. And when your quality improves, you're going to get big again. All right. So let's just go with the vertical stack, right. and he was, I mean, horizontal stack, and he had just these little squares in there. Bring it back up so we can see the picture of it. But they weren't even little pictures. Yeah, he I'm did like little fancy shapes, but we can start with the square. I wonder if he did that as an image. Though we could do that with the shape we view pretty easily. View. I yes. mean, it's it's a rounded. It's a rounded rec, but one of the corners is not rounded. Yes. So what what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to open touch draw, draw that, save it, and then copy out the SVG nice. path. All right. So I'm going to work on creating. I'm going to create a class, a new view for those things. Um, let me stop my. Oh, I'm already stopped debugging. Let me go back to my solution explorer. I'm going to create. Um, I'm just going to call it widget. All right, and let's do view. Oh, my hotkeys aren't going to work because I'm on Gene. I'm going to add that right now. It's not understand content. All right, so we're going to add this in here. Add the body tag, and then we'll do a new view. And for this, this is we're going to need another one of those Z-Stacks. Yep. New Z-Stack. We're going to do a new shape view. And I'll let... What, once the shape... What, what do you think the I mean, rough, rough height of those things are? Maybe six, 60 pixels? I'm just trying to get the math right. Um. Yeah. Sure, we'll make it fit. I'm just going to do a new circle for now. Yep. And we'll do a rectangle, rounded rectangle, because that's close. Rounded rectangle, and the corner radius we're going to say is like 6 or 10. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right. I think I, I, I think it's 16. If, it, if you make it 60 high, okay. I'd say 16 works pretty well, good. It, yeah, it doesn't matter what I'm doing here now. Anyway, 
All right, and then for the round of rectangles, is there a height on these then? I didn't think there was. I thought it just did it whatever. Oh, I would have to do set that on the shape view, right? Yeah. Uh, frame, and we're going to say its width is wider. So if you're saying those are 60, we'll say 100. Um, uh, we'll say 60. All right. And then a new, that's going to be a vertical stack. Text. All right. And it's going to have a string and a value. Say, how do we want to pass that in? Let's do public title public string. Yes, I'm just doing it as. No, we'll do it as a. Do doesn't as an int, so we'll just. Those are doubles actually. Insert keys. That's annoying. All right, so we're going to set that value there. Now, what we'll do here is say this is title and text. This is value to string. And we'll do n1. I think that's the right one. Mm -hmm. Here. Do that. Put a that there. All right. What's it complaining about? Uh, for Too many parentheses. All right, that looks right. All right, so we have our weather widget, have our shape view. We'll swap that shape view thing out. Let's jump over to the main page and we'll throw this thing in there. Right, and I'm right before, for right now, I added a comment so the path, if we want to move to a yeah, yeah, if you want to work, if you want to do that, go for it. Um, you can even just create a okay. shape or however you want to do it. But I, I'm done with the weather widget page, so you can do that on the weather widget. Okay. Title. Is that what I call? No, I didn't call it. I did. Title. Is we'll just get yeah, these hard coded. A few of them out there. Our code for right now. A key again. Yeah. All right, and then value equals 10. All right, so I'm just going to throw this in there, and I'm going to run it. It should work even with you doing your thing. Yeah, oh, it's nice. mine's in there. So I've already switched it to, there we go. All right, so John went and created a path to give us that rounded, this triple rounded rectangle with a point to match. Let's see what this thing does. It should just have one of them. Okay, way too big. It did. <laughs> did I do the right stack? All right, we're going <laughs> to do something to give this thing a frame. I think that's the issue. And yeah, we need. Yeah, we need to put the frame on the Z stack itself. Frame is. Do um, 160. Do, do, do 70. Do 70, 60 for now, because oh, that's the okay. what I put it at. Set, set 70 wide, 60 high. All right. Let's restart that. I'm missing my hot restart stuff. Or hot reload. Stream sync is staying consistent now, though. Your, your camera's not jumping around. I know. It, yeah, it hooks up. It says it is. Hey! All right, it does need to be bigger, though. Yep. Well, and we can just yep. add some padding we'll make it a little bit wider. to this V stack. Or, wait, is it margin we add? Yep. Or padding? Only one of them works. <laughs> I can never remember. Uh, margin is the one we have, and that's the only one we have. 
So yeah. we're going to add margin to the inside one. Dot margin of 10, do 6. I can multiply 6. Right, and then on this, not going. Yeah, no, we'd see the output if it was. Yeah, it says it's a receiving updates. Right. It says it's connected. Something I need to debug. I need to figure that out, but I've only ever done it on the same machine. I've never done it across machines yet. All right, so we're going to put this up to 80. It's up to 70. See what that looks like. And then we yeah. need to make that a gradient I'm as good. well, not just a line. Yep. It's a diagonal gradient from the top left over. Do we have a nice easy way to do the gradient stuff, or is doing the skia thing I did the best way right now? Um, I don't. I started. I think I have linear gradients. Let me double check. I started. I started work on that. All right, that did not. That did do something, but it did not do it right. Um, I also, I, I just changed it to 100, 170 right. on both of them. So Let's that restart. did work. Well, it looks like the margin might not have worked right. Or these didn't center. The text didn't center inside the vertical stack. Maybe we need to do something to center, center, and then we won't need this margin. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking to see the, how to do the gradients. I don't remember what I did, but I'm pretty sure that's in there. That might be easier than my gradient view I did. Does touch draw out output um, or C sharp skia code yet? Uh, I I have a <laughs> private version of it. Does I was gonna say um, I was used. What's his name? Wrote that one a while ago that I use once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. So we do we we do support um, gradients. Nice. I I did add support for that. All right, let's run this again, see how that looked. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't press the go. Up all my wires. Is it going? The sound of your voice is enough. Keeps me going. Yeah. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll try to be into my jazz voice, you know, to speak really smooth. I don't want to put my foot smooth. to sleep. <laughs> One the wrong direction. Hey, Renato Stramos, thanks for following. Uh oh, simulator error. The app not exist. Let's try again. Uh oh, simulator looks like it crashed. All right, I'm gonna close the simulator. Let's try again. Stop. Start. Get this debugging going. Oh, my music was already playing. It just wasn't hooked in. All right, build errors. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to close. Oh, if I close, <laughs> let me just clean. Yeah, I'm going to lose you. You're going to lose me. So let's just clean. Try again. All right, try again. That's right, we can reconnect you if so, if we lose you. Yeah. And again, if anyone else wants to follow along and live share, we can try that out. Copy that link again. Paste that in here. Looks like it's going. So if anyone else wants to join in, see what's going on, browse through this app, play with it, tell us what we're doing wrong. All right, simulator starting. That worked.
I realized I didn't apply filters to your camera, so we're getting all your clicks. I think I just fixed that. All right, yeah, those aren't centering right, so that's all we need to do is fix centering. I wonder if we do dot back, er, background. Hey, Renato Ramos, thanks for jumping in here. Look through, give us some ideas. All right, and I'm gonna get in there and Now I'm just worried about uh, trying to make edits when you're compiling and running. It should be what it does. It should be able to handle it. Go for it. I mean, technically it should hot reload, right. but you know. But My hot reload's know. broken. All right, so that is our text just isn't centering right. Is that how it should be in a vertical stack? It's not taking the full width. Hold on. Uh no no so V stack doesn't doesn't take the full width we we need to set okay, it to so that's to do a that layout issue we can fix because yeah that looks funny and then how do we tell it to center oh wait till you're done with what you're doing because that's what we need to do is just center that text well fill with tell the text to then center and then uh oh. So by the way, it's giving me the error that I can't save my changes okay, while you're running. Um, what's the? I love having IntelliCode though. All right, didn't we have alignment or something? Uh, text alignment. Text alignment dot center. Uh, well, we should we should we we shouldn't need that. No? We actually want the we want the we want the v, v stack to expand. So it's, we're going right. to actually modify but the V the stack. Text, so the text the that'll expand it, but it still labels by default still left aligned. No, no, it sh no a V stack should be center aligned. The the text itself is center aligned, but what's going to happen is that the text is going to measure, and it's Did actually it, going to center the text within the V stack. Didn't we things like text? It should just do a full width, not center. Yes, but we have. But we right, haven't implemented that yet. Nope, oh, I lost your audio. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm, I just didn't say anything. I'm just think, I'm I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, this is where we actually need to have a session where we write down yes. all the rules that we want to happen. There's quite the a few of those rules. Like anything that scrolls should just go fill. Text should go full width, not full height, right? And well, no, well. Well, this is where I maybe disagree. So if we've got um, te text in an H stack and a horizontal stack, you don't right. necessarily want it to fill. Right. You then in that case, it'd go full height. It, yeah. And see, and see, then that that that, that that's weird. Where now we're going to have rules of what container it is. It does different things, which is I'm not sure the most logical behavior. Are you sure? I mean, other frameworks do it that way. Look at the WPF and UWP stacks. They do it that way. On the container? I thought no, so. I don't think so. All right, now I want to open up a new window. Let's 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 build the WPF. Yeah, up. I just I just want to do um maybe it's UWP I'm thinking of. I don't know. Okay, new repo. Context is everything. Yeah, that's what that's what I think. Context matters. I think Swift is going to do it that way too. I do think context matters. That's part of the beauty of it. It's smarter than just doing it. Yeah. BPF. Do I have that? Um. Just. I think context. Yeah. If, if we do if we, if we if we do that, then we we almost need to change how layout works. That sort of. Give give me your measurements, assuming I am you know I am your parent. Okay. Do you think we need that, or do we just say? I I don't think we need. I mean, I think we can come well, to a logical. Well, we can pass in because we pass in the maximum size, right? Well, then they uh, yeah. Well, so yeah. So, yeah. Right, well, so no, this is where what I do think we need to do. We definitely need minimum width and minimum height, and we need to have logical defaults for okay. that. So we never just disappear. So but I, design, let me go to design. 
right? And then there's a toolbox. I just want to get rid of the grid, and we're going to throw a stack in there. And I want to throw, um, they called stacks, or they called, yeah, stack, stack panel. Is that stack layout? Yep, stack panel. Stack panel. All right, so we have a stack panel. And now let's just throw a text in there, text block into the stack panel. It fills. Is that right? Oh, no. So it goes full width, right? Now let's change the stack panel. Um, orientation, is that orientation, orientation equals yeah. um, horizontal, right? Now it fills the height. Okay, yeah. All right. I mean, it makes sense. Sorry, I don't know if my screen. Yeah, it, 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 it does make sense. It's just um. I almost need to jump in their code and see how they do that. Oh, this is not Gmusic for Xamarin Forms. I did not update. You're right, Dan. I'm going to update that. Um, comment with. All right. Thank you for that. Now it's not going to update on your screen until you like refresh. If you were to like restart the stream, then it should. I'm going to do that on my preview just to make sure. It might take a minute, but I did just edit it, so it should eventually. So we are not building G Music. <laughs> no, eventually G Music and Comet. Comet, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna double check on the screen that works. So yeah, I mean that's that con that yeah the context does matter, and it should do things like that way. So yeah, because you always want to map and certain things. The thing that we got to think about things like this, if we ever do like a radio button or a checkbox, what does the checkbox do? Is checkbox by default going to center its drawing? Because then it's fine if we just go the full height. Yeah. Put, yeah, put, yeah, put, drop a checkbox in there. Checkbox did not. It centered. Let's see what other ones would maybe be ambiguous in the list. Box. Do 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 a so that was a text box. Do... Toggle. Why is toggle up top? <laughs> that makes no sense. I think that it should be ones that can expand. So like a checkbox can't. Like that's fine. I understand that. But things that can expand cannot expand should center. Ones that can should take the full on a H stack go the full height. And on a vertical stack, go the full width. Yeah. Combo box goes to the Combo? top. <laughs> what? Who wrote that? <laughs> okay. And and then that's a logical thing, though, if we do that, right? Instead of this, because that makes no sense. That should be centered. Image centers. Ink canvas fills, which makes sense. List box should fill. So. Map control should fill. Yeah, so, I mean, and I think it's on a button should fill. No, button centered. I kind of agree on that. I'm unsure on that, actually. I think it depends. Uh, hmm. We'll see, for example, so put something in the, put some text in the text pane. With which one's the text so. pane? The, the, the very, the very, the very oh, first the one we talked about. Okay, it has text in there. That's, that's... It has wrapping, so oh, it expands. Oh, oh it's a, yeah. So, so I see. So it is, it is doing the bounds. So it's filling up, but then being top aligned. Which the text should center, but I'm okay with it not the text not, and then you telling the text to center line. But I would prefer the text to center line. I, you know, so I would I would prefer the, the text to center as well, which is our default. I think it defaults to center horizontally, I mean vertically, yeah. but then left align horizontal. Yeah. All right, and I think that I think those rules make sense. Question is, how do we implement those here? Right. Well, so so how do we, how do we give a hint to the layout manager? Well, when we're asking it, so when we're asking for the layout size, right? We can say this is the maximum. This is desired. 
Yeah. Well, so we need. I mean, oh uh, no, because I mean, because then on that case, we'd say we'd give it. I'm just thinking, and I'm not sure the right convention, but we'd say like negative one for the width. Like we don't care, do what you want, but we prefer you to go to the full height. Now things like checkbox are gonna ignore the height thing, so like screw you, I'm going to my own height, right? Yeah, I guess what the the difference is in in this one is you get different behavior if you're in a vertical stack versus a horizontal right, so stack. Right, the vertical stack is going to say go for the full. It's going to pass in the width. I want to go for this full width, but the height that's going to say do what you want. Yeah. And then it's going to do the opposite. So then that's passed into the control still, so the control can choose to accept or deny. In case of a text box, it's always going to accept it. Checkbox okay. will say never mind. Right. So, all right. So, so it's sort of are we saying so for then the 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 text field we're going to basically say our preferred desired size is like minus one minus one, and then the layout manager is going to get the intrinsic size, and so then the case of a V stack, it will take the intrinsic height, but the full width in the case of an H stack, it will take the intrinsic yes. width and the full height. Yes. Right? Now we can get okay. that we can have instead of having the layout manager decide that so we don't have like a giant switch statement, we can have the controls pass that back. Yeah, so and so th and this is where we need to actually ref I, I mentioned to you before we need to refactor layout. So that um, we, because right now we just sort of have a generic measure yourself and give me back what I want want to be. I think we need to refactor so we've got a get intrinsic size and then the layout managers. Well, there's more of a true layout that do, sort of handles sort of the global measuring. Okay. And it just makes sense. So so right because right now they're they're hand in hand. It's, it's sort of like a control is is uh, responsible for both um, determining its intrinsic size and and figuring out how big it should be given the space it's allocated. We just need to say, okay, this is the control. Just measure yourself intrinsically, okay. and we'll we'll move it out. You know, sort of the the within the size thing out to the layout manager or even to to comment itself. Okay. Will that will we now end up with like a switch statement so where we say like for text do this for checkbox do that? no I, no it shouldn't it shouldn't it shouldn't do that we shouldn't okay. need to do that it's and you know, and so in the case like of a um you know, so something that's like expandable like text you know the it will say for sort of its desired size it's going to return you know minus one minus one. You know things like a. Now what about um, so it'll say minus one minus one. Now what about when it will it measure and also so it'll say the intrinsic size and then it'll say desired size, right? That's what you're saying. So intrinsic yes, exactly. size will be the size of the text and the desired size will be negative one negative one. Correct. And then for like a checkbox, it'll say its desired height. It'll have the intrinsic and desired heights will be the same, basically. So hey Zerg, how's it going? Two days in a row. Yes, we're back working on comment. I have John Lipsky joining me today. So super exciting. I'm not gonna stream next week because I'm gonna be in um Ignite at Ignite in Orlando. So I don't think I'll be able to find a way to stream. So doing it here. Maybe I will jump on and we'll do some live streaming from phone at the conference and walk around and say hi to people. Goes. Alright, so is do you think we have time to work on any of that today, John, or should we jump into something different? I mean, I'd say we're gonna jump into different because it, it, yes. it won't be very exciting to do that because we're okay. gonna have to do a lot of so let's keep working on the oh I'm on the comment repo. Let's go back to comment weather. So let's keep going on this. The way we're going with this is setting that alignment. I think will be good enough for now because that should work. Yep. And can we see if that yes, gradient actually an works? Error. Did you miss a dot or too many parentheses or? Uh, uh, comet shape view cannot good. be used as type T for draw extensions fill. Oh, you need it on oh, the path. Oh, right? I know. So I've got a. I think that here, goes I'll on the path, it. not the shape view. Is that right? 
Yeah, so I just need to move a parenthesis. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to run it. All right. How it looks. I mean, this should, this should be a horizontal gradient. But That's fine. Close enough. Close enough. You can deal with the. Well, it wasn't even a horizontal one, it was a diagonal. Yeah, I know we need to make a diagonal, but let's just see if this works. Oh, salmon to cornflower blue. Oh, I still have the blue. That's me. Which is right, because it's on the higher, on the V stack. Z stack. Yep. Let's see how this is looking. Should have a nice shape with a. Okay, we need to ditch the border, but yeah, aside from that, looks good. Cool. Um, except our text, because well, uh, the vertical stack. So I have the. Yeah. Yeah. So we 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 need to make the um. V, so in the let's see in the V stack that should. Um, let's, let's see the um, if we do that start, well it already does oh that'll make its contents fill yeah so we'll make the so the v stack will measure everything and then it will be as wide okay, as its widest the stack was child. already the right width, because when I put the background color, it did the full, it covered the whole thing. Well, but were you putting the background on the I did V-stack or the Z-stack? Stack. Oh, did, maybe I did it on the Z-stack. I did the V-stack. I think you had it on the Z-stack. Let's run it. Oh, let's just do... Is it background? And then we'll do... Color dot blue dot al is there like a with alpha? We need with um, alpha or something. Yeah, well, let's, let's yeah, add, we can yeah, add that. Let's do that's that a, really that's quick. An easy one. I wanted to be like, oh, we're gonna do blue with an alpha. Oh, I just clicked stop, wrong stop. <laughs> I just kicked you, kicked you out. out. All right, um, how do I turn it right back on? Live share. All right, let's add you back in. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, I'm going to copy that. Hey, Sweeky, welcome. I'm going to paste it into chat if people want to join in there. And I, Hi, Sweeky. If you're in chat, I think I can still, I'll still Discord it to you. Yeah. All right, doing that now. All right. So let's go add that color stuff in there. Let me switch out of the live share. Oh, I'll need to add you once you join. I'll make you re writable. All right, so let's go into Comet and let's go into. We have color extensions, I thought already. Yeah. Color extensions, here we go. All right. That's all that. Background. Oh, that's all for views. It actually doesn't work. Oh, well. Your fake hair color is making it hard to wear headphones, huh? <laughs> color with alpha color 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 dot oh, I need to do and what are these doubles floats floats they're floats right now do we want to move them to doubles for 64-bit at some point? Um, might be something to think about. Color dot a. No. Play amount equals alpha. Return color. Are those read only? It's read only. Uh, right. well, we'll just do. Yeah, it's read only. It it, it is read only. It was, it was designed to be immutable, so you yeah, wouldn't get side color effects. Color dot red. Color dot.
no. color dot. G oh, R yeah, I misread. G That's right. I can turn this back to. Add up. And we'll hit enter right there. Spell alpha, right? Oh. Do a capital G. And we have with it, we have, there we go. Now, if we jump back over to our widget uh, with alpha, we'll say 0.5. That way, make it transparent. Run that. No, I have not seen your costume yet. Paying attention to tw Twitter either. All right, did you join Live Share? You're in. All right, let's. Why is clicking on you? Is this not a read only one? Let's give everybody access. I don't know. It's not letting me click on you to then make you. I don't know. Can you, if you can type, you can type. Yeah. All right, let's check out Squeaky's Halloween costume. Your hair is bigger and redder. <laughs> uh oh. What? Let's rebuild this. Ah, I see it. I do see it. Okay, let's clean. I got that stupid thing again. All right, let's press play again. I'm big again, oh, by the way. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shrink you back down to a normal size. Back to squeaky size? Back to squeaky size. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's run. Uh, is it running? Okay. Yeah, I did not make that a read-only link, so oh well. You, you, you only sent it to me. No, so. I pasted it into chat. Oh, did you? Didn't I? Yeah, I did. It's all right. It's okay. We trust these people. We trust everybody. If not, I can click this make read only button. What in the world? <laughs> like, how did our storyboard go away? It's still there, right? Yeah. No, it was talking playing about main storyboard, right? We don't have a main storyboard. Something change? Yeah. I'm looking Not at set. The... Um well we do have so it is looking for a main storyboard if we run it on an iPad. If you look in the oh, info key list. It was, did I, oh I didn't mean to switch it to iPad. How did it switch to iPad? But, but here I'm just, I'm just gonna delete that because we don't want that anyway, right? Yeah. Which simulator was I on? I'm on iOS eleven thirteen one. Alright, try it try it now. I got rid That's of right. the I'm just gonna run it on this. Somehow it automatically switched to an iPad. Instead of staying on the phone, I had it selected as. I don't think I clicked on anything and changed it. Because it knew I was here, because I only run on my pad. <laughs> in the simulators you do? Yeah, in the simulators. I mean, I'm mostly working on touch draw, so it's, all I do is iPad that makes stuff. makes sense. I wonder, if, I wonder if you joining, if you doing something had did it. I think so. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, I know I click go. Go again. My music stopped. I wrote this crappy music app. All right. Um, I 
Are we going to watch The Terminator? Most likely. I mean, how do you not? Hey, now I'm getting... <sighs> Clean. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to get it to build and run. You missed all the fun talk about layouts and how we're going to do layouts. How we're going to try to do layouts. It'll work. We'll do it. All right. Layouts again, yes. Layouts are key. Key to a good UI paradigm. John. And that's all Clancy lets me work on. Hey, you can work on anything you want. Just got to get the layout working first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as John's internet jumps up and down, he he shrinks and grows. Hey, that's looking better, except we're not centering this way. How do we center that way? Um, we need to... I thought it look did at that it. by default. That's a good question. No, it doesn't. It's, no, it's top aligned by default. Because it, yeah, it's always going to stop at the top and go down. All right, so let me... Yes, it will get better. It's actually not doing too bad, though, considering... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Seattle's insane. I mean, we've always, everyone knows the weather's horrible in Seattle. You know what the funny part is? It's colder in Seattle than it is here. Like, legitimately colder in Seattle than it is in Alaska. Pretty funny. They're all complaining about snow. Uh-oh, I'm hearing weird noises. Did we lose John? John, are you gone again? He's definitely frozen. It's reconnecting. I'm back. Oh, he's back! It reconnected without having to redial. Nice. I'm just adjusting monitors, so this monitor arm will start bouncing as my desk, as I touch my desk. All right, so now, so now we're in a case of um, our use of the Z stack is fighting against our use of the V stack. Ah, is it? Um, because normally, you know, we would add in these things, and and the V stack would only be as top tall as the. Um, it's contents. But you should still be able to tell a V stack to get big and center its stuff, though. I know. Well, we haven't implemented that oh, yet. Oh, okay. All this not implemented. Okay. Well, we can live with that because there's other well, ways around. Yeah, I mean, there, 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 there is a there is a workaround. We add just an empty view above and an empty view below the text, and then we tell them to fill. That frame. Right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, we can just say this. We can just, or we can just say fill, verti fill vertical. Wait, oh, there's a fill? Yeah, yeah. So that's our little spacer. Then put one after it, and then... I really, uh, once I'm done live streaming, guys, or once John's done, I may try and fix this hot reloading. I need to, because I need to be able to hot reload from Windows to my Mac. This yeah, I've got, a, I've got about maybe five to ten more minutes, and then I have to go get the kids ready for trick-or-treating. Yes. I can't stream forever Important long stuff. today because of trick-or-treating as well. I didn't do a costume, so I'm probably going to wear my Jedi bathrobe and just be a Jedi. It's also then warm. Oh, no! Uh, uh, <laughs> because we don't allow for view, which I don't know why. I've never... We did that... Yeah, why don't we have a native view for that? I thought I fixed that at one point, because it was bugging me. Maybe I did, and then I didn't commit it. All right, so let's go into... Well, I mean, this one should be, you know, that one we should basically even just say, if you don't have a view, just ignore the set frame. But does it? No, it has view, view handler. Oh, the view handler does something like that. I thought it did, didn't it? No, that should still create it's, a well, in the abstract, 
Here, it's in the well, but and this is coming down to you know eventually if we never set a background or anything on a view, I mean we don't really even want to okay. have a view created. But you still need to size it. All right, so where was that crash at then? No, no, you oh, don't. Okay. As long. Here, I'm I'm fixing it. It's in. It's abstract handler, but it's okay. read only for You're me. You're in read only mode. Oh, wait, no. Oh no, it's in the other. It's interesting. The live share. Jump okay, me to the other, the other one and let um, me make sure that you're. I, I can, I can fix okay. it. I just have to get to. We have two live share sessions sessions going. Yeah, the brother. No, it's I've never tested the hot reload from VS Windows, to, like using the iOS remote simulator stuff. I never tested that when I was building the hot reload for this. So, um. No, I have no idea. The thing that's crazy about it is it says it's connecting. So I have a right now comments very noisy in the debug windows. And so if you look, it says that it is connecting. It connected to the right IP address. That's my local IP. This my Windows machine is dot six. But then nothing ever sends over. So I don't know. <laughs> I I need to debug the extension and debug the hot reload. I'm not sure if it's the hot reload DLL, like if that's not getting the notifications, or if the Visual Studio extension is not sending the updates. And it's one of the two. All right, oh. it's fixed. It's okay. fixed if we want so to try let's it. Let's run this again. Am I in the right one? Yes. So yeah, it'll. I mean, I just I gotta debug both of those, so I'm not sure which one it is. Nope, yep, didn't work. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating, especially when you get used to it just reworking and being able to hot reload stuff, and then you can't. Kind of frustrating. We also don't have a way to make the Z stack extend all the way, get big. We don't have a way to make yeah. the Z-stack behind, get big? Notice there's the white bars at the top and bottom. We don't have any way to just say, hey, oh, go, yeah. go big. We need, yeah, we need to almost have an extension method on there to say ignore safe area. Yes, safe exactly. Area. Which, by default, we're going to make it to where all scroll views do, which I think we already do. Yeah. So we need a way to opt into other things, which should be actually pretty easy to add. Yeah, we should look at that because we probably already do that to so a certain So if we extent. look at Comet iOS, is it going to be it's somewhere in the layout where it decides safe? Let's just search for safe. Uh, where's the search in here? Is it under? It's not under edit. Well, well, so on abstract handler, we do have an auto safe area. That's an auto, and it's set to true. What's that do? Um, that's what I'm seeing. Abstract layout. Okay, handler. so we can just do a thing to set that to false. And I think it should work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that should be really, really, really easy to do. Oh, really? That's so sad. I'm sorry, Luce. And the IntelliSense and XAML. Yeah, that can stop working sometimes. You guys have seen it bite me on my streams many a times. All right, so let's <laughs> go into Comet. And let's add an extension. The question is, do we need to handle the... I mean, do we want to put that into an iOS specific namespace or not? Because is there that concept um, anywhere else? No, but this, but at the same time, you kind of well, want no, your. No, we'll um, still be able to use it here. It's just you add it in the namespace. Oh, namespace, namespace, yeah. It's still going to be in the root project. 
Yeah, handling it is key. Getting used to just handling things not working right. Um, that's one of the things I like being on early preview stuff, because then I can say, oh, it's early preview. I'm always on the preview build, and then I can blame that. <laughs> uh, uh, that can be a little intimidating going after mods. Feel your pain. All right. Uh, where do we throw this one? View extensions. We'll throw it into there. Or do we have anything for layout? Layout extensions. Margin, margin, over. We do. Yes, we'll throw it into this one. So I'm going to do, we're going to just add this new extension here. We'll do public bool. Um, can we, should it be, well, no, I want it to well, be. It a, wouldn't be a bool. Well, no, it no. It would return the view, wouldn't it? Right, right. Oh, right. And it will return the view. I'm just thinking through, yes. T, um, I'm just wondering it's, what we want to name this, because we want it to be default to false. So, or or just say ignore ignore safe area. All right, well, that works. All right, and then we'll do. Let me scroll so we can actually see. All right, T. We'll do this T. Um, U. And then. What am I? Ooh. What? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna have to. So right now, this is uh, we're gonna have to go look this up in the environment, or yes, which is pretty do. fast. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm setting this here. Now what we'll do is we'll just say return view. Now this will be view, and we can also tell it not to look up past it, so we can even speed this up. So we can do set environment, and we need to go to our environment keys. That's in environment data. We have one for layout. Um, on string ignore. Um, what is it? Ignore safe area. Yep. And we'll continue with the layout dot. All right, so we've got that. We'll do um, set this. The key is going to be environment data or environment keys. I hate that those files are named different. Yeah, we can fix that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and this is ignore safe area. True. All right. Oh, public static that makes sense, and then static. We almost should put these gets not in the same namespace because the only thing that uses these gets <laughs> is yeah is our stuff. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now they should still it's have an, access an to it, so that way I think we should do that at some point. Just do a big refactor and do all the gets, so that way it never populates the gets inside of the yeah. Yep, I like that. Actually, it doesn't matter. This is just context, textual object. Um, actually, this needs to say false to cascades. Now, if we do yeah. the false cascades on the lookup, it's even a faster lookup. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, you told I remember you told me you implemented that, so So we can say the same thing. Just grab this. And the default value oh I thought it I thought it gave you the option for a default. Maybe it doesn't. It just returns null. Alright, so we'll do ignore safe area. Comma my thinking um false all right and now that needs to be and I th Google question question mark what was that that doesn't doesn't have to be a nullable bull bull no but not if I do question mark question mark 
Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, okay, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. Yep. So if I do this. No, but you. Oh, I need to do. No, but you need to. You need. You, so you need to. Ca you do need to do that because you need to cast the result of get environment to a bool question mark and then say. Oh right. It needs this. Okay, you're saying is a nullable. No, but hold on. I want to see what's going on with this though. So view dot get environment. Oh, do I have to pass the view in there? Why do I have to pass the view in? That doesn't seem right. Oh, because this is... I do that. It's stupid. I don't know why that does that. All right. But I thought I can just do... Okay, that should be right. All right. So now if we go... That was an abstract handler. So the virtual view, this will now do view dot get oh um what is it native not native view what do we call what's it save this thing as virtual view yeah virtual view question mark dot um get um ignore it's actually not that right. <laughs> I think we need. I'm just gonna I, we, inverse it for now. We need, for now, yeah, we need to fix that. Decide on one. All right. Did I do that right? Question mark. Oh, is this? We'll just use the end. Virtual view is not a method, is it? Yeah. Oh, a... So why is it complaining about question mark on that? Oh, I didn't do this right. There we go. I can do the... It doesn't matter. Or does it? I don't know if it matters. All right. Um, yeah. So now we can go into... So um, on, on that one, I almost wonder if we should say, you know, in the get ignore safe area, pass in what we want the default value to be because in, because we're going to have to override this for a few things where we want it to be the opposite okay. behavior and it might just be so you're saying okay well the thing is though this is virtual so they can override that oh yes i know i just i just more of a from making our our code even more concise so everywhere we don't want to yes. do the cuz that's all we would do is we do this everywhere when you override and you change that to true same thing. Yep, okay, like, yes, that's uh, true. Yep, we're fine. To me, that's the same. It, no, you're, you're right, it's the same. It's just oh, well, three less characters. Oh, wow, people talking in chat, and I wasn't, wasn't paying attention. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's pretty awesome to be compared to Hanselman. He's impressive. I, I wish I was as funny as Hanselman when I presented. I wish I was as funny as Hanselman at any point, let's be honest. So I, I still think we're going to have... Uh, let's see, where is it override? I think we'll be okay. Yeah, well, we can find all instances of this. And then see where this was overridden. Table. Yeah, so we, Table's we, yeah. fine. Table or tab. That should be fine. We, and scroll. Tab, scroll tab says fine, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we should be fine. All right, so now let's go yep. actually use it. It didn't break anything, adding it in there. So now if we go to weather, main page, we'll say the Z stack dot um, ignore safe area. Yes, witty. That's a good. That's a good way to put it. Is witty. You're so quick on his feet. <laughs> it does help that. Ah, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, so... I support that, Sweeky. I support now that. This is... I'm wondering if I messed something out. <laughs> well, that should be right. So put put let's put a breakpoint in comment view um, layout sub views. I think views. you can actually do that. But, um, you know. You're supposed to be able to. Um. Well, I can't do it because you're. I don't have access to comment oh, in that right. project. Remember, I only. It's weird. So what is the virtual view? Main page. This one's not going to do it. We don't care about that one. And it's auto adjust is true. That's weird that it does that until it gets data. Yeah. All right. Auto adjust. Which one is this? Virtual view. I wonder if it needs. No, no. Dot built view. Built view is the Z stack. Auto adjust is false. How is that possible? Okay, dot view handler. Z stack handler. Go to built view. Base, 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 base. Non public. All right, it has a local context, which is what we'd expect. It should have one. And let's expand that out. And it has. One valuable value set to true. Wait, what? Oh, that's from the interface. I'm like, <laughs> I hate that about interfaces. Loathe interfaces. All right, so let's go look at. Oh, what? What's that? Where did we fill that out at? Um, that's a good. Let's go check it. Abstract handler versus abstract control handler. Yeah, could we put that in abstract handler? Oh, it, so. This is um, the there's two different handlers because layouts do things slightly different, so we need to put the same thing in abstract layout handler. Yep. All right, and then looking for that, was there any other places? Here's another true abstract layout handler. Scroll view is fine, and tab view is fine. All right, and honestly. Yeah, I mean, we we may want to reverse it eventually. Well, since we're doing inverse. Well, no, well, so, no. So actually, we don't need to override it at all. We just let it go to. No, because uh, we're changing the default. Oh yeah, ta yeah, tab. We want to. But, same with scroll. Um, same with scroll. Yeah. Now we eventually want to change it so we're not inversing it because that's just weird. <laughs> but hey. Um, you don't see the presenter notes while well, presenting? That'd be horrible. Uh oh, virtual view does not exist here. Um, it, it's got to have something. Uh, what is this? Set view, view. That's fine. <laughs> you printed them out. Oh, I'm sorry, Luce. That sounds brutal. I actually don't like using PowerPoint very much because I like to code when I'm presenting, which sometimes works well, sometimes doesn't. But yeah, it actually works out nice for me since I don't like using PowerPoint.
All right. False. False. That should be right, right? I don't remember. Let's see. Why is it white? Oh, what did that do? <laughs> oh no. That should have been fine. We're saying make it big. Yep. Oh, um, so down below. Uh huh. This thing. I mean, we're saying, yeah, so, uh, whereas above we're setting the um, native, yeah, we need to do the same type of stuff up above. The virtual view never got the set. Actually. Yeah. And because it's, it's because it's Skia, it screws everything up. The virtual view needs it. Let's do this. Um, we shouldn't even need the native. We shouldn't need the um, that native view frame equals bounds in there anymore. That this first one. No. Yeah. Well, so we need to. Re no, we just need to replace. All we should do. Uh, Wait, you're saying we never need to do this? Native view? You're totally frozen. I think Why don't we ever have to set the native frames bounds? <laughs> Cuz this thing will do it. Be because the virtual view um does that. When you say virtual view set frame, it actually right, then goes so and sets it on the native. This is should need. So basically, we say we're going to change this to be with one if to adjust that bounds. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I think that other one is a remnant of, we have something you know, like V1. That's so much better. Seattle's off, which it should be. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's clean this up really quick then. So we'll just say if auto adjust and not But I would say, I mean, basically, with our new logic in there, shouldn't we just but say it's list not auto-adjust? View, table views. We don't... What, well, what if I want to force... I mean, okay. if, if I say so ignore... So we need to go them, in to a list view and tell it to override. So where's yeah. list view... Helper, not helpers, iOS. That's fine, I agree. Let's just do it there. We just had that as an override in case anyone throws something in there themselves and doesn't think about it, but yeah. uh, handlers list. Okay, so let's just before the mapper stuff. Override. Yeah. Oh, come on. Just maybe just copy and paste Auto it from save. like tab yep. view. I want to just throw it on the top too. That works. All right. Oops. Save. All right. So now we should be good. Yep. Are there any other scroll ones that we need to worry about? Not yet. We will once we get um, collection view. Collection but view. Let's make sure we do that. And, 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 yes, and do we have it in scroll it. view? Yep, yep it does. Yep. And then eventually we need to go relate. Let's just fix this auto safe right now. Go to definition. Oh, no, let's uh, go to base. Or is it go to. All right. Let's refactor. <laughs> you know, if you were using writer, you could just I do think it right I can. there. I think I can are, elsewhere. It would work. I think I can here. 
Um, rename. Because it gives me all that other options. They've added most of that same stuff in here. There. Let's hope that worked. Should, should we just say um, ignore safe area? Yeah. Instead of ignore auto? Because then that matches. Yeah. All right. Now we can go into where that's being used was the abstract something or other, something layout, something. Where is that being used? Is it, is it in comment view? Right. And then layout sub views? All right. Now, now cool. that we did that, <laughs> let's fix all those. Um. Wait, wait. This should be fault. Hold on. Ignore safe area. On a control false, should right? be false. And then I, we were we no, were because I, think I had we were that okay not before, in front of it. it. Uh, yeah. So this one that one I messed up on and we don't need that anymore. Yep. And then <clears throat> then, then it should be right now that I just moved the inverse. I just want to make sure I moved all yeah. those parentheses just because we don't need them. Yeah, I didn't have to change both. I just had to remove the inverse. All right, now let's run it, and it should be good. Then we ship, then we it, ship yes. it. We actually haven't updated the nougats in a while. Sweetie, are you listening? No, that's just because we haven't pushed things over. Um, what about the refresh-related views? What do you mean by that? I'm not sure I follow. No, I really am impressed. Visual Studio, they've made a big push to add everything from all the resharper things and things like that. Most of that is is in here now. Yeah. All right. So we need to add something to pad that top, which is fine. Let's go and see if this will do it. If we go to the main, let me close all this window. Close all, all documents. <clears throat> all right, main page. So do I need to do zero comma, like, let's just give it like a 50. See what that looks like. Sure. Oh, that hockey doesn't work. It's a five. Yeah, I think the, yeah, you haven't done the dev ones. We need to get the GitHub pipelines working. I almost wonder if we, you know, now that we have this ignore, I almost wonder if we need like a special type of a view, which is... Spacer? um. Like a safe inset, uh, yeah, safe inset spacer, like top spacer, bottom yeah, spacer, which would be zero on Android. Correct, or yeah, when it'd everything, be a zero on yeah, yeah. you know everything iPads but and all iOS. iOS would just add that in there. That could be kind of cool. Yeah. Safe inset padding, so that way you can do something like this and just say, "Hey, new safe inset padding." Yeah. So I'm not sure what the refresh and refresh scroll view are. Are those Xamarin Forms controls? Because I'm not familiar with those. Me either. Sweeky's back. <laughs> I like it.
Refresh, scroll. Oh, that's a React I've got Native about two or three more minutes. Or are you talking like ah. list view pool to refresh? Yeah, I don't know what those are. And there's one called the, no, it's called the refresh control. I don't know. Hey, that looks good, actually. That's, padding's about perfect. I mean, our gradient is beautiful. All right, now we can, on this main page, we can kill, oh, no, that's on the widget. Yeah, we can end whenever you're ready. It's totally fine. Oh, you left the collab session. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> I'm still on, I'm still on Skype, but I'm getting right. out of. I'm well, getting ready to shut down. Thanks for joining. Um, this has been fun. We should do this again. This was lots of fun. I'll do it again. I'm over my stage. Is that right really now. what it was? You were you were scared to get on here? It's not yeah. bad. It's fun. If you have chat oh, yeah. up and you're talking to people, they're nice. Mostly nice. You gotta watch out for that swack attack person. I mean, she can be scary. <laughs> she might be small, but she's fierce. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's looking really good, though. I mean, yeah, there are gradients wrong. Actually, the gradient might be the right direction. I think it might be. I, ch oh, I, think okay. I made a diagonal one. And when you were <laughs> like, that looks right. Yeah. We need to ditch the black, change the change it so it's right. Yep. And then we need to figure out how to make the horizontal scroll. Yep. I like it. Yeah, I mean, All right. that looks awesome. Our fonts are, are wrong. We don't have the right fonts to match his. And our colors are off. But, you know, when you go back and compare it to this one. Last one. That's not bad. We don't have the degree. You're getting there. We can add that. We have emoji support. So, one second. Where's that at? I'm going to add that. All right. Thanks, John. All right, Thanks I, for hanging out. I have to go. I'm going to end Bye, up here too in a minute. I just want to fix this. Where's that at? Two string. And then I have my little emoji keyboard. Let's hide John's picture so he's not just ominously staring there. All right. So, I have my emoji button, which. This keyboard has an emoji button. Is there not the degrees one? It shows up as an emoji. It's like alt. I don't remember what it is. What's the key to get that? Maybe it's under here. There. It's going to be under here. Which one's it under? Where's the degrees? Why would I use an actual degree? Because what else would you do? I don't know. Where's the degrees? Why can't I search for degrees? Ah, there it is. There it is. I found it. Put a bathtub. So we could do a bathtub based on whether or not it's bathtub weather, like the water is the right temperature. All right, that was fun. Let's run this again. I need to fix this hot reload. How do you people work without your C-sharp hot reloading? I'm so spoiled anymore. Yes, you should cry. Like living in the Stone Ages. All right. Uh, let me... Who is twitching? Because I'm wondering if I should keep going. It is Halloween night, and I have stuff to do for kids. Kids. They get you. All right. Um, yeah, that looks good. We're actually using the right symbol. I like it. I like it. Who is coding that I know? Michael J. Folly's going. 
We've never got a chance to raid him yet. All right. Thanks, guys. This was fun. We're going to do another comment stream sometime soonish. And this was really good. I liked it. I'm going to end the stream there. And yeah. Any questions before I go, though? If not, I, next week I won't really be streaming because of Ignite. Maybe I can jump on and do some like live streaming around the halls. Yeah, I check out, I'll check out that pull request, Dan. I want to get that in too. So excited. Thank you. Dan went and fixed the merge conflicts from rebasing my old embedded fonts thing. So now I'm going to pull that in so we can get that merged. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Amazing. So amazing. Thank you. All right, so yes, I will do that next, but let's end this stream, and we're going to raid somebody. If I can figure out how to do that. You think I know how to do that by now? All right, thanks, guys. I'm going to press my stop button, and this was awesome. We're going to do more. See you, guys.